mountain trekking, adventurous like activities, and they are going yeah. on adventurous um, vacation. I have heard that. Is it true? Yeah, true. We have Mount Bromo. It's very popular. It's near with my hometown with okay. Surabaya, but I never visit Mount Bromo too. <laughs> I all I always uh, stay in my house. Mm -hmm. uh doing my job as a wife and as a what is it as a mother and also yeah. work <laughs> never have enough being time mother to... is a big responsibility and yeah <laughs> you see when you become mom you barely get time to do other things like you will be evolved in these activities like taking care of the kid cooking food doing house chores yeah <laughs> Because I don't have maid, I work by myself. I do everything by myself. I take care of my family by myself. I only go vacation maybe uh, twice a year to visit my family in another uh, in another uh, part of my uh, uh, in another part of the island. I mean, I live in East Java, and my family live in Central Java. Central Java, okay. Yeah. So usually Indonesia has three different parts. And the fourth one is Papua, Papua Island that is a bit separated. And it's not only three, it's a lot. And I don't remember all the name. Mainly, I'm talking about mainly. Oh, mainly, okay. So mainly it's divided into three it's parts. Good. And there's one smaller yeah. one that is Papua. And I think in yeah. Papua Island, they're mostly doing uh, extraction work, like uh, some some kind of natural resources extraction is going on. Yeah, if I'm not wrong. And recently, your government, a few years ago, they found gold also. Yeah, uh, it's called, what is it? I forget the name, but it's a very big... Uh, a factory mining. that mining. yeah yeah take the coal from Papua yeah and I have also heard of the crisis of Papua people and the class between normal people and the Papua people is that true uh yeah I think Papua want to get their own uh what is it what we call it hmm, independence yeah, freedom. Uh -huh. I think uh, uh, this the small part of citizen of there want to make their own freedom, and they their want to make yeah, and they want to make their own nation. Oh my God! But it's not possible <laughs> to build one small nation, right? Because it would be no, very no. difficult diplomatically, and they need to have everything official, and for that they need lots of money. Yeah. And once you get separated yeah. from a running country, then your all resources will be stopped from that country. Yeah, so, so it will be very our, difficult our, for us to stand alone. Yeah, so our government already finished that trouble. So our Papua is still with Indonesia now. Glad to hear that. And may your country always live in peace. Thank you. You're welcome. Now tell me, what do you think about India? <laughs> India, I don't know much about India. I think it's okay. near with Indonesia, it's near with Pakistan, and most of India citizen is Hindu, and most yeah. of Pakistan people is Muslim. Mm -hmm. And then I know a movie from India, <laughs> song. Bollywood. Yeah, and, and who there is your was, favorite actor uh, from India? Actor? <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of actors. But which Sanukan. one is your favorite? Uh, oh, I don't really like uh, Indian movie though. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you don't have any favorite actor from India? I don't think <laughs> I have one. But I know their name, but I don't really like actress or actor, whether it is from India or Korea or Indonesia. Oh, my Basically idol is one. Like. 
Tisha. <laughs> you guess it. Who is my idol? <laughs> Prophet Muhammad peace be yeah. upon him. Um, yeah, that, that's correct. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah, totally. <laughs> that's good. I got it because being a Muslim, that's our first idol. And then, then later on, we can follow these so-called stars. Yeah. So that's I, right. I do agree with your point that we need to make those people our idols who guide us to the right path and provide the way of living our life in the better way. Yeah. You got my you got the point because uh, all these idols are just human they can make mistake just like us and yeah. why should we uh, so follow yeah follow them like that all right you got it <laughs> uh, now tell me uh, do you have plan to visit other country mm, i think i am interested to visit country with uh, what is four season because in Indonesia we only have two season dry season and rainy season I want to visit country with uh, winter snow and something like that ah, is you India have India. that? yes <laughs> oh my god I hope I can visit your country and That's enjoy true. all this four season <laughs> And you know, in I different parts of India, we have different kind of weather. So if you'll go to the upper part of the India, you will get like a snowfall and all the things. If you come okay. to South India, you will, you will uh, experience extreme heat. Extreme oh, heat. hi. Yeah. Summer. So, yeah, like if you want to take sun bath and if you want to relax in the beach, you can uh, go to South India. But if you want to experience... Uh, snowfall and winter in the cold season you can come in the winter season and uh, you can visit those places it's really amazing and if you want if you love rainy season you must visit like Kheer Ganga northeast it's amazing Tawang Valley, Kheer Ganga, Jiro Valley these are very beautiful places in winter season I really, in rainy season I really I really want to visit that 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 a country with four seasons since I was in my college. <laughs> oh. It's like your dream to visit that kind of country because you wish to experience yeah. it. Yeah, because I saw in many movies the winter season is very nice. You can make snowman and then in autumn uh, the the leaf is very yellow and yeah, it's that's falling. nice. Yeah, it's falling. And then in the spring, you can see a lot of flower. Hmm, I yeah. want to see, I, I want to experience what it feels to be in that, in that four season country. <laughs> it's, it's really great. And it's like, it depends who you are. For example, if you are a poor person and you have like very tattered house, like broken house, then when it's windy, winds are coming and the <laughs> dust is coming into your house. When it's rainy, rain is falling from your rooftop, like from the roof. So, but if you are a rich, oh. <laughs> then you will enjoy the weather. So it depends. <laughs> for for them, it's like, why am I going to oh, that, That's new information for me. It's not always, uh, the reality is not always look like the movie version <laughs> exactly like before we had a mm -hmm. uh, mud house now it's it's made up of concrete and we have a uh, concrete made house but before we had mud house so when it was raining we just look for the pots and we will place it where it's you know when the rain drops are falling from the roof oh yeah so we are looking yeah, for the yeah. pots so... and keeping here <laughs> and there so that our house you know does not get wet like the floor does not get wet <laughs> so it depends who you are oh. if you are rich you will enjoy all the season if you are not rich and you have broken house you are poor you cannot afford better house then it's very disastrous for you <laughs> so uh, is the most population rich or not I mean do you guys enjoy the season I mean uh, the population 
what do yes, they we feel do. Uh, we find opportunities in everything and we try to enjoy all the things like even though if we are poor we just try to have fun with the family because we have different tradition and we live together as a joint family we believe in arranged marriage though some of us will believe in love marriage too but like we believe in living in unity and that's the beauty of india like as it said yeah. it is a very diverse country and we have unity in diversity with a different religion different color different caste and with a different mentality we all live together as a whole as a one and that's what india represent everything as a one as a whole one you know peace of the collection of the different religion culture rituals and festivals clothing uh, clothing style but we yeah, at the end because stand because it's whole. very unique yeah it's I very love that too. i mean uh, the girl with the jewelry and their scarf and the colorful uh, clothing that's so unique yeah. uh, and the bracelet with the, it's a lot and then the pierce of her ear yeah in the nose ring earrings <laughs> That's so cute for me, and I love that. I mean, with their makeups and their, uh, what is it? Uh, the the ring? access. No, no, not not the ring, but the henna, right? Okay, yeah, henna. That means we henna. call it in our native language. It's mehendi. Oh yeah, mehendi. Yeah. <laughs> That's so uh, pretty on their uh, what is it? Their, their hands. And their hands. and that that's so difficult maybe to make that yeah it's it's not that difficult it's a bit of the art work so once you once you get used to that scoop of the mehndi that henna and then once you know how to you know just move your hands with that like by pressing <laughs> that then it's very easy for you to do that and uh, yeah, we have uh... we have professionals in the market for that so when it is festival times women are going to market to get their hands done with the mehndi that with the henna oh so yeah. if i go to india then i can try it by myself yeah you can if try. i go to oh <laughs> that's so, so Or, i'm so excited to go there if, if you be guest uh, in someone's house they will do it i mean in every house or me in every house yes you will find other people so, like that so you guys uh, use henna like every day not every day but you when you visit india you would be special guest and if you want to try that out we can just do that for you oh, <laughs> i have i can visit india and you know this uh, mehndi or the henna is part of rituals marriage rituals so if i'm getting married or if one girl is getting married doesn't matter which community she belongs to she will get that henna on her hand legs and yeah even the boys before they get married they they have to go through the mehndi ritual the boys do wearing henna <laughs> yes they do but but the boys have the different design than the girls so they have just you oh. know pinch 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 but the girls have some flowers <laughs> small dots maybe no nah, yeah. the girl is very pretty flower and <laughs> and lines and dots ah that's a pretty yeah so that's part of our ritual and it's a part of our tradition so don't worry when you will come to india you will easily get that in your hands <laughs> actually in indonesia we have uh, that kind of uh, henna too but only in marriage i mean the bride okay so, beer bath. but so not all part of your ritual too No, and not part of ritual, but just to make the hand prettier. So maybe they they got it from the different culture, and then if a yeah, girl maybe, wants to maybe, try that, maybe they inspire, ins, in get inspired. Yeah, that word <laughs> from your country, maybe or from right. Arabic. I don't know. It's becoming uh, trying lately. Oh, that's great.